So some of the things that we've improved on the UI is we have simplified the layouts. We have replaced a lot of the icons that you used to have to, to um, try to guess what was behind that. We replaced them with words. So instead you used to have like three dots and you used to have a more, gives you more settings. Then the settings will be shorter menus. We've taken out some of the features or pulled them up higher so that your interactions, you don't have to press as many buttons. Our engineers worked really closely with the Google engineers. So a lot of the Lollipop um, features have been integrated really well with our apps. We also have multi-window, which means that you can resize. You can resize windows. You can have more than one open on top of each other. You can move them around. So just let you take, um, just let you take up more space, use more of the screen, and switch between apps quickly. We also have multi-window. If you go into the recently used apps, you open up the app in the top and then it gives you a list of apps that can be opened in the bottom. So there you've got two apps open at the same time. You can work between them, switch, and they both work just fine. We also have on the edge, you have access to your quick contacts. So here you can customize this is your top contacts that you use most often. And then you can just add someone from your address book and add Allison. And you can also go in and change the color. So if I've picked Allison, I can go in and change her color. Now, if Allison contacts me and I have the phone down on the table, when the contact comes in, the light will light up on the color that I've chosen for that person. So if I've got Allison purple, I know Allison's contacting me, only I see that, no one else in the room does. And I can just tap right here and send a message back saying I'm in a meeting, I can't talk to you, I can't call you. And when the message comes in, it leaves a little mark that Allison has contacted me and I can quickly reply to her, send her a text, a call, or an email. Also on the edge, you have a notifications bar. Turn that upside down here. There you go. So it gives you the time right away. You don't have to wake up the whole phone to find out what time it is. That's one of the many things that people do is interact with their phone all the time just to check the time. This helps you save on your battery. And then you can just flip through. These are all customizable. Down here. So you can get notifications, you can get updates from uh, Twitter, you can see who called you, you can get news feeds. So if you go into the settings, <laughs> this is where you'll customize your edge displays. And there's the notification light. So even I, I showed you the contacts, the favorite contacts, and you can customize the colors. But anybody else that contacts you, you know, a yellow light will come on. And again, it's an incoming call, incoming text message, or incoming email. And it's just a nice, subtle way for you to be notified about what's happening without distracting everybody else. This is where you would customize all of the different things that you see on the edge. And then this is one that's very popular, is the night clock. So you set this for about 12 hours is the range. Um, let's see if we can set this up for what's going on right now. 12 p.m. Now we turn it off. You set this on your bedside. And a very light, you can see. It's subtle because you don't want it to be really bright at, light, at night. And it won't run down your battery. So we have quick launch. Um, one of the things is you don't want to miss a photo and if you've got your camera in your pocket you have to open it, you have to unlock it, find the camera app. So if you just double tap on our home key, it opens up the camera and you're ready to go. It's also nice is you can be in any app. You can be in the phone and again you just double tap and it opens up the camera. You have several settings that you can change and again we've changed our settings menu so we made it very simple. Um, and a very um, obvious what everything is. Or again, there are a lot of icons. We have spread, we uh, made sure that everything is very descriptive. You can change your size of your file. You turn the quick launch on off. There's voice controls, and this is very handy. If, again, if you want to take a really steady photo, you turn on your voice controls, and you just say smile, and it takes the picture. This is also great if you're taking a selfie. And you can even take a 4K video capture. Um, again, it's very high detail and it will take up a lot of your memory, but it's a nice feature to have, especially if you um, like to view high definition video. 
We also have a lot of modes. So there's selective focus in which you can choose. Um, you can go in after you've taken the photo and change the point of view, point of the focus. There's a panorama, there's slow and fast motion. And then you can download a lot of other uh, modes. And all of the modes that are available on the rear camera are also available on the selfie camera. So again, we have um, simplified our settings in our UI. We've also thought a lot about, you know, most people interact with their phone with just one hand. And since this phone is a lot thinner and slimmer, it's easier to do more with your thumb. And there are more things that are built in within reach. So right there again, you just interact with your thumb. Very nice and clean, shorter settings menus. I'm going to the music player. This is also one where you have multiple, um, almost more than a page of settings, and we've now kind of refined it to the top settings and built more things in and had more things automatic so you don't have to be turning on and off so many things. So, again, very easy just to start a new email with one touch. And then going into our full settings menu. And this has been streamlined. We pulled some things up onto the top for faster access. We have a search option, which is really um, popular for people who you know, are unfamiliar with some of our settings. So now you can just search for what you're looking for. That's nice. There's screen mode. So in the drop down notifications bar, so you have again quick access to some of the things that you use most often. And those are you can edit those and add the ones that you use more. So for example, I'm a big user of NFC. You can just press and hold and switch that out. And then your notifications would appear here. They're interactive, so if you see a message coming in, a notification coming in, you can tap it and go right into that notification.